Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zofikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you could head to IncomeInvestors.com. You can find the link to the website in the description below. Investors are hanging their hopes that the Federal Reserve will begin cutting high interest rates. But strong economic growth has seen the odds of a rate hike in the first half of the year fall to 58%. In December 2023, the odds of at least one rate hike in the first half of 2024 stood at 75%. And while most investors and analysts initially expected Fed rate cuts to come at a fast clip, economists are, are now thinking interest rate cuts will wind down more slowly. In February, markets were pricing in more than five rate cuts this year. Now they're pricing in three rate cuts. Recently, even the Federal Reserve came out and penciled in three rate cuts for this year. And without any economic weakness, the Fed has no reason to start cutting rates sooner than later. Nor will it ramp up the number of rate cuts to make up for lost time. Even when interest rates do start coming down, they're expected to remain well above pre-pandemic levels for years. And that's a good news for business development companies or BDCs for short, or as we call them, alternative banks at income investors. And that includes Bearing BDC Inc. traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol BBDC. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. Yeah, Bearing BDC Inc. is an externally managed BDC primarily makes debt investments in middle market companies with EBITDA of $10 million to $75 million. Now, while some investors may think bigger is better when it comes to BDCs, it isn't always the case. Core middle market deals have lower leverage, tighter documentation, and better covenants than large corporate deals. On top of that, the default rate on investments under $100 million is just 1.33%. The default rate on deals of $250 million to $499 million jumps to 5.14% and that it hops to 5.47% of deals of 500 million or greater. Now, Bearing's investment's objective is to generate income by investing directly in privately held middle market companies that operate across a wide range of industries to help companies fund their acquisition, growth, or refinancing. It does this by investing in senior secured loans, first lien debt, second lien debt, mezzanine, structured loans, things like that. Of Bearing's 2.51 billion portfolio, 74 is actually made up of senior secure debt, and 90% of it is secured with floating rates, which is great for a high interest rate environment. And how did this alternative bank do in the most recent quarter? It did well. For the fourth quarter and into December 31st, Bearings reported total investment income of $75.8 million, net investment income of $33.4 million, or $0.31 cents per share, and net increase in net assets resulting from operations of 29.9 million or 28 cents per share. And I was reading at IncomeInvestors.com that the company's net investment income exceeded its fourth quarter dividend by five cents. Yeah, thanks to strong net investment income, the company is able to provide investors with a reliable growing high yield distribution. It declared a first quarter dividend of 26 cents per share or a dollar four on an annual basis. And that works out to a current yield of 11.27%. And that crushes the current inflation rate of 3.15%. And getting back to your point, yes, it reported fourth quarter net investment income of 31 cents, which topped its fourth quarter payout of 26 cents per share by five cents, where some companies only increase their payouts on an annual basis. Times are good. Bearings actually does it multiple times. In 2022 and 2023, it raises distribution twice, and it increased it actually every quarter in 2021. And finally, how is BBDC stock doing? Really well. February 28th of this year, BBDC stock actually hit a new all-time record intraday high of $9.89 per share. It has retraced a little since then, but it's still trading near $9.15 per share. John, thank you so much for your analysis. Just to recap, Bearing BDC Inc. is a BDC with a diversified funding mix with primarily made out of first lien investments. In the fourth quarter, the company took advantage of lender-friendly environment, sourcing $100 million of new originations. Net investment income covered its high yield dividend by five cents per share. In the first quarter of 2024, the company improved its liquidity positioning and financing profile through issuance of 300 million in five year unsecured notes at a 7% coupon. This unsecured debt enhances Bearing's operational stability and allows it to optimize its liability structure and expand its ladder of maturities 
out to 2029. That's it for today. And make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special reports on three income stocks to own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.